Greetings! Madroid79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alright, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game. And proceeding. Here we are on the main menu, so let's get on to the edit deck menu. And to an empty space here. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is Lyrical Monasterio, Heartfelt Song, Laura Noral. Alright, let's get started. Go into an empty space, create new, and choosing the nation, Lyrical Monasterio. And now like I just like I just explained in the in the video, in today's video, the deck profile I'm making, making one for is Lyrical Monasterios, Heartfelt Song, Laura Noral's. Comprised only of cards up until DLBT1 over here. So, okay, let's get started. So, first I apply filter and apply filter for only showing cards for DLBT1, Lyrical Melody. Apply filter. And now let's get started. First, the grade 3 lineup for the grade 3 of so this deck. We're playing right deck, grade 3, Heartfelt Song, Lower Noral. First skills are the first skill. Action as a vanguard, once per turn, counter blast one. If the cost is in hate, choose a face up song from your order zone and sing it. Activate this song's ability and turn it face down after that ability resolves. And the second skill, auto as a vanguard. When this unit attacks, if you have two or more face down cards in the order zone, choose a face up song from your order zone and sing it. And until the end of that battle, your opponent cannot call sentinels from hand or guard to the guardian circle. So for Laura Noro, she's the main grade 3 to run this deck. Her first skill is let you flip a song order from your order zone to face down to activate its effect. And the second skill, when attacking, if you have two more face down order zone cards, and if you have a face up order zone song to play, you can then more or less stop your opponent from guarding your vanguard's attack with sentinels, thus making Laura Noro more likely to finish off your opponent. So for Laura Noro, we're playing 4 of her and placing 1 in the right deck. Next up, the Grade 3, Set Order, Song, 6 Flower Fractal. Her skills are, first skill, after a set order is played, put in the order zone, second skill, auto. When this card is put under the order zone, choose a face down card in your order zone and you may turn it face up. And third skill, auto, order zone. When this song is sung, choose the same number of your rare cards as the number of face down cards in your order zone and restand them. Then choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus 10,000 power until the end of turn for each standing unit by its effect. So for Six Flower Fractal, she's one of these songs meant to be played with Laura Norrell. For her second skill, when flip face down, when, I mean when placed on the order zone, you can flip back one face down order back face up. So being able to use this effect again and the third skill. When this song is sung, you can more or less restand the same number of rear guards on your as your face as your face down order zone cards. And then you can give your vanguard plus 10,000 power for each restanding unit. So Fractal gives you more attacks to attack with from your rear guards and makes your vanguards attack much more unstoppable with the stacking of 10,000 power or more. So for Fractal, I'm playing four of her. And now for the Great 2 lineup, for the Great 2s, we're playing... Let's see... Where is it? Let's see... There it is! The Great 2, right deck, Blossoming Vocal, Laura Noral. Her skills are, for skill, Continuous as a Vanguard. During your turn, if your order zone is a face-up song, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. And the second skill, Auto. When written on top of, Search your deck or hand for up to one Grade 2 song card and reveal it to your opponent, then put it into your order zone. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck. If you put it in your hand, draw a card. So for Laura Earl, her, she's the main Grade 2 to run this deck. For her first skill, as long as your order zone is a face-up song, she gets plus 5,000 power, making you a 15,000 point attacker from your Vanguard. And the second skill, just by riding on top of her, you can add any Grade 2 song from your hand or deck place it straight away in the order zone and act, and then you can draw a card if it's placed in her hand so Lord knows lets you get a song into your order zone and possibly restock your hand so for Lord Noro I'll play one of her placing in the right deck and then let's see what other where is it let's see 
Okay, then the grade two, Honest Council President Eknola. Her skills is auto as a rear guard. Once per turn, when this unit attacks, if your opponent or if your vanguard already sung a song this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn and a skill. The skill is counter blast one, discard a card. And if you pay the cost, you can draw two cards. So Eknola is a supporting unit for the Lauren Oral deck. Whenever she attacks, if, you, if your vanguard already sung a song, then she can serve as a 15,000 point attacker on her own and also let you draw two cards by paying her skill. So Echno is a pretty useful card to have to restock your hand and to get some decent attacks in. So for Echno, we're playing four of her. And then next up, the other great two in this deck. The great two, set order, song, matter at Hunway. Runway, her skill is the first skill, order. After set order is played, put in the order zone. Second skill, auto. When this card is put in the order zone, if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, draw a card. Third skill, auto from the order zone. When this song is sung, choose one of your vanguards. It gets plus one critical until the end of the turn. So for matter red runway, another song be meant to be played with the lower normal deck. For second skill, when placed in the order zone, if your van if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or more, you draw a card. So Whenever just by playing this order as your order zone, you get to restock your hand and the third skill. When this song is sung, your vanguard, your vanguard gets plus one critical, so it's a good way to also make your vanguard attack much more devastating on the opponent. So for Matter Red Runway, we're playing three of her. And now for the Great One lineup. Let's see, next, nope, nope, let's play some more Great Twos. How about here? The Great Two, Dancing Score Elmer. Her skill is auto when placed in a guardian circle, soul blast one. If the cost isn't paid, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield until the end of battle for each of your cards in your order zone. So Elmer is a good card to play with the Laurel Neural deck, which requires you to have a bunch of orders in your order zone. Just by guarding with her, you can use, use her as a potential 10,000 or more shield defender all by herself. So for Elmer, we're playing three of her. And now we head on to the great one lineup. For the great ones of this deck, let's see. The great one, here it is. Right deck, great one, throbbing search, lore normal. Her skill is auto. When written on top of, search your deck for or hand for up to one great one song card and reveal it to your opponent, then put it into your order zone. If you search on your deck, shuffle your deck. It plays from your hand, draw a card. So lore normal is the great main great one to ride this deck. Just by riding on top of her, you can deploy a Great One Song order from your hand or deck onto your order zone straight away. And if it was played from your hand, you can draw a card. So Lord Roll is a good way to not only get a song onto your order zone, but to draw an extra card. So for the Great One, Lord Roll playing one of her and then placing it in the right deck. And now for the other Great Ones of this deck, let's see. The other great ones of this deck. What else? Let's see. Here it is. The great one, Fighting Spirit with Charge, Louisia. Her skill is auto as a rear guard. When she boosts, if your vanguard sung a song this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of battle. And if this unit is in the back row center column, counter charge one. So Louisia is another support card for the lower normal decks just by boosting from the center column as long as a song was sung in that same turn she can add 5,000 power to herself making herself a 11,000 power booster from the back row but also counter charge one securing you more counter blasts to work with so for Louisa, we're playing three of her and then let's see the other great ones of this deck what is it what should i play next Here, the Great One, Set Order, Song, Romantic Happiness, It's Skill Dar, for Skill, Order, after a Set Order is played, put into your Order Zone, and the second Skill, Auto, from the Order Zone, when this song is sung, draw a card, shoot, then shoot one of your Vanguards, it gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn, so for Romantic Happiness, it's another song to be played with the Lower Normal Decks, just by singing it, you can not only restock your hand, but also increase your Vanguard's power, making it a pretty basic but very useful order to play from your order zone. So for Romantic Happiness, we're playing two of her. Okay, then next up we play...
We're playing the... Great One, Soapy Splash, Riviana, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills are, for skill, Continuous, Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Sentinel in your deck. And second skill, Auto. When placed in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units. It cannot be hit until the end of the battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Riviana, she's like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game. Just by guarding with her, you can discard one card from your hand and block an enemy attack. But she also features another ability unique to the D standard format, Perfect Guards. When used to guard with, if you have less than two cards in hand, you don't have to pay the usual discard one cost, making her a no cost perfect guard in last resort desperate situations, making her a very helpful perfect guard to have in your lyrical monasterial decks. So for her, Riviana, we're playing four. And let's see. Then let's see, what else should I play? Let's see. What other great ones should I play? Hmm. Something I can use. What can I use? The song, okay. Here, the great two, Candid Big Sister, Audrey, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if your order zone is a card, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So for Audrey, she's more or less a basic attacker for Lord Lyrical Monasterio decks that play set orders. During your turn, as long as you got a order zone card, she can serve as a 13,000 point attacker from the front row. So for Audrey, you're playing four of her. And now let's skip over to the Great Zero lineup. For the Great Zero, it's first we're playing... Here, the right deck, great zero to de deliver a song, lower and oral, skill, auto, when written the top of, if you went second, draw a card. So for this great zero, lower and oral, she's the starter unit of this deck. Just by riding on top of her, if you went second, you draw a card. So we add one lower and oral onto the deck, place it in the right deck. And now to the trigger lineup for the triggers of this deck, we're playing. Let's see. Okay, then we're playing the Great Zero, original style, El Shuka, critical trigger, we're playing four of her. The Great Zero, Gritting Dragon Scale, Ilze, critical trigger, we're playing three of her. The Great Zero, Thick and Fluffy Siesta, Kilma, draw trigger, we're playing four of her. The Great Zero, Peaceful Garden, Annika, Heal Trigger, we're playing four of her. And last but not least, the we're playing... The Great Zero, Fantastic Furnail, Katrina, over Trigger. Her skill is, Trigger, additional effect. During this fight, you get, during your turn, all your rear guards get plus 10,000 power. So for... Katrina, she's the overtrigger, one of the overtriggers for the Lyrical Monasterial Nation. Like any other overtrigger in the D standard format, she features the same skill. When revealed during a drive check or damage check, you can give 100 million power to one of your units and you draw a card. But she also features another ability unique to her. When revealed during a drive check during your turn, for the rest of the fight, during your turn, all of your rear guards get plus 10,000 power. So for, for Katrina, her she mainly is meant to be played during the drive check during your turn. Just by getting her, the, for the rest of the fight, all your rear guards get plus 10,000 power, making your rear guards and back row booster for the Vanguard much more powerful to work with. So for Katrina, we're playing one of her, and with that, we finish building the deck and explain the card effects. So let's save the deck. Here we go. And now, after having just explained the deck's build and card effects, so this is the deck build we're playing in this video. So for this deck build, we're playing four, grade three, heartfelt song, lower and oral. Four, grade three, six flower fractal. Four, grade two, artist council president, Echnoa. 
One, grade two, blossoming vocal, Laura Laurel. Three, grade two, matter red runway. Three, grade two, dancing score, Elmer. Four, grade two, candid big sister, Audrey. One, grade three, great ones, fighting spirit, recharge, Louisia. Four, great one, Sophie Splash, Riviera. One, great one, throbbing search, Laura Laurel. Two, great one, romantic happiness. One, great zero, to deliver a song, Laura Laurel. And they were playing in this deck. Seven, critical triggers. Four, Draw triggers. Four heal triggers. And finally, one over trigger, Katrina. Okay, so I pretty much finished explaining the deck's build and card effects. Let's get on to testing out the deck, but before that, let's just change the deck's name, change the deck name to. Let's see. Laura. Noro. L-O-R-O N-O-N-R-E-L Lore Norrell Safe And then Shame Sleeves For the card sleeves in this deck we're playing Lore Norrell at the right deck sleeve Press Y And then For the main deck sleeves we're playing Lyrical Monasterio Press A Okay Deck built Cards explained Deck renamed and card sleeves changed. Let's get up testing out the deck. So back to the main menu and to fight menu. CPU fight. Now choosing the newly deck built deck I created, the lower neural deck. Fighting an opponent. So for the opponent for this deck, I'm challenging. Hmm, what should I use? What should I battle against? Okay, I'm battling battling against. Hmm. Who would be a good opponent? I guess I'll go up against Masaru Kita. Normal difficulty. Okay, the battle begins. Let's get started. All right, deciding who goes first. So rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, and then scissors again. Rock, I lose, going second. Now drawing my starting hand. I'm gonna send back two critical triggers. Okay, stand up, the Vanguard. My point goes first, he rides. The Great One, the Soniker. Skill, he soul charges, okay. He soul charged a critical trigger. My turn. I ride for my right deck. Throbbing search, Laura Noro. I discard for the right deck cost. Louisia. Yep, discarding Louisia. Right, Laura Noro. Base skill, I draw a card. I drew another Louisia, okay. Beginning battle phase, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. Drive check. Heal trigger. Wasted a trigger. No good. Okay. Power added. One damage. And my opponent gets one damage. Damage check. No trigger. Okay. Alright. My opponent's turn. They ride. The great two. Electro Spartan. Okay. Battle phase. Vanguard to Vanguard. No guard. Take the hit. Drive check. Ah oh, no! Over trigger! 100 million power to Vanguard and critical. So two damage, and they also get plus 10,000 power. So no trigger and second check. No trigger. This is not good. Uh, so for the rest of the fight, my opponent's gonna have two criticals and plus 10,000 power. Okay, I'm gonna write my right deck, Blossoming Vocal, Laura Noro. I discard from my, from my hand for the right deck card. I discard Louisia. Right, Laura Noro. 
Throbbing search low roll skill, I search my deck or hand for a great one song. Deploy to the order zone, I place romantic happiness. Set. And now, I, I'm i gonna call Honest Counsel Agnoa and Fighting Spirit Recharge Louisia. And okay, begin battle phase. Eknoa attacks the Vanguard, 10,000 power, key guards, 5,000 shield, okay. And now, let's see, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, 21,000 power. Drive check, critical trigger, alright, just what I needed. All effects of Vanguard, critical added, and power added, and now 2 damage to my opponent. Here it comes. Damage check. Damage check first, no trigger, and second check, what is it gonna Damage be? Check. Critical trigger, alright, you wasted a trigger! Alrighty, end of my turn, my opponent's turn. Over trigger effect added, he rides. Barrel Magnus. Soul charging, okay. He calls the rear guard, skill, he soul charges. He's at 8 soul, he calls, soul charges. Okay, rear guard attack, no guard, take the hit. Ow! Damage check, no trigger. Vanguard to Vanguard, okay. I. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I guard the two triggers, 40,000, two triggers to pass. First check, no trigger, order, okay. And second check, no trigger, okay. And now, another attack from the rear guard, 13,000 power. No guard, take the hit. And here it comes. Ow! Damage check. Heal trigger, alright! I heal 1 point of damage, and power to my Vanguard. Okay, effect added. End of my opponent's turn, my turn, stand and draw. I write from my, let's see, right deck, Heartfelt Song, Lower Normal. I'm gonna discard Romantic Happiness as the cost. Write the Grade 3, Heartfelt Song, Lower Normal. Grade 2, Blossoming Vocal Lord Earl Skill. I search my hand or deck for a Grade 2 song and deploy to the Order Zone. I take one Master Matterwick Runway, placing to the Order Zone. Runway Skill and placing the Order Zone. I draw a card. Draw. Okay. Next, I activate Lord Earl Skill. Counterblast 1. I play in order. I'm playing Romantic Happiness. Add power to Vanguard. And I. Draw a card. Okay. Okay, then. Let's begin the battle phase. My rear guard, Egnola, attacks the vanguard. Skill. Since a song was sung this turn, I add 5,000 power to Egnola. And then I'm going to counter blast one. And discard one. And draw two cards. I drew my over trigger. I want a rotten luck. I should have attacked my Vanguard first. Okay, one damage. Now Vanguard to, to Vanguard. Skill plus 5,000 power. And I counter charge one. Keep perfect guards, okay. Perfect guard, okay. Twin drive, first check, draw trigger. Yep, I definitely should have attacked my Vanguard first. Attack, power up my Vanguard. Draw a card. Second check. Ah, critical trigger. I really made a mistake here, okay? The attack is blocked, so... Okay, then it's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. Keep her soul rides and adds his soul. Okay, then... No guard. Take one hit. Ow! Damage check. 
No trigger. Vanguard to Vanguard. Okay, I perfect guard with Ravenia. Perfect guard. For the cop, I'm discarding. I discard a draw trigger. Perfect guard. Twin drive. No trigger. And second check. Draw trigger. Oh no! Seriously? Okay, effect blocked. And now here comes the remaining attacker, 33,000 power, okay. I'm going to guard with Elmer, skill, soul blast 1, plus 5,000 shield for every, for every order card in the order zone, 10,000 shield in total. And I guard with a critical trigger, 43,000, totally blocked. Okay. Now it's my turn. I stand and draw. I persona right, Lord Noral. Adding power, I draw a card. Uh, another trigger. Where are all my great twos? Did I activate Lord Noral skill? Counter blast one and flipping over a card in the order zone. Order zone, Matterette runway plus one critical. Then I call my draw trigger to the front row. And now I'll be getting battle phase, boosted by... Boosted by the back row, Luizia. My Vanguard attack the Vanguard. Skill activated. My opponent hit up guard the Sentinels. And then... My back row skill. Plus 5,000 power. And... Count the charge one. He guards with nearly everything in his hand. 48,000. Twin drive. First check. No trigger. And second check. No trigger. Oh, now some attackers come out. Seriously? All my triggers came out early in the game. Darn. And no other order zone cards. So, okay. Then my rear guard, Eknoa, attacks the vanguard. Skill activated. Plus power. And... Now we're at it, okay, then I counter blast and discard Egnoa from the hand, draw two cards, come on, something good. Alright, an order card, just what I needed. Damage check, draw trigger, oh no! Alright then, my Hilma attacks the rear guard, Curtis. No guard, okay. And okay, one rear guard down. That's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. Another persona right. No. He calls and calls. Okay. Skill. He's soul charging. Two cards and. Oh look, like the electro spark attacks the vanguard first. I'm. And. Skill, he's so he's adding more power, okay. No guard gonna take this attack. Ow! Damage check. Heal trigger, but I cannot heal, but power the vanguard anyway. Vanguard to vanguard, okay. Barrow Man is skill, he's gonna add power critical and draw a card. Okay, then I'm going to guard with Riviana, perfect guard. For the perfect guard cost, I'm going to discard Eknoa, perfect guard. Twin drive, no trigger, grade three, and second check. What is it? Okay, Electro Spartan. Alrighty, the attack is blocked. One more attack from the rear guard. Against my rear guard, I guard with a critical trigger, 25,000. The attack is blocked. Okay. That's the end of my opponent's turn. I stand and draw. Not gonna ride. I play the grade three order, six flower fractal. Set order. 
skill. I flip over one. Or the zone card. I'm flipping over. I flip over. Romantic happiness. Then I flip Lord Null skill. Counter blast one. I flip over the great one order. Romantic happiness. I draw a card and give power to my vanguard. Okay, then I... I move Hilma to the back row. Next up, I call Audrey. There we go. Power added, and now... Okay, beginning battle phase. Let's see, the great three lets me restand as many rear guards in any form. Okay, then first off, my... Audrey unboosted attacks the Vanguard, 13,000 power. He guards, 5,000 shield, okay. Next up, my Eknoa attacks the Vanguard. Skill activated, plus 5,000 power. 15,000 the Vanguard. And I'm not gonna pay the skill. He guards again, alright. The attack is blocked, and now my. Vanguard Lord Noro boosted by Luisia attacks the Vanguard. Skills activated. I activate my Lord Noro skill. I flip face down the Grade 3 order. And then I activate 6 Flower Fractal. So I stand up to 2 rear guards. I stand Eknoa and Audrey. Stand, plus power to Vanguard. My opponent can guard the Sentinels. Luisia skill. I plus more plus another 5,000 power and counter charge one. Yes, you cannot guard. Twin drive. First check. No trigger. And second check. Critical trigger. Yes, just what I needed. Critical to the Vanguard. Power to ignore. All effects added. Now two damage to the opponent will be enough. And padding of the paw prints and damage check. Critical trigger. Yes, six damage. He cannot heal, so six damage. I win. Oh, that was pretty pretty good. So. Okay, I got some VP, I win, double trigger, got attacked with 40,000 more power, perfect guard. Opponent drew an over trigger, did a persona ride, 8 turns pass, retired 5 or more units, and drew 3 times in 1 turn, I got 2600 VP, total 10,800 VP, so press A to go next. Heading back to the fight menu. Okay, we're done the fight menu, going back to the main menu. And... Okay, back to main menu, back to edit deck menu. And with that, this pretty much explains the deck's build, card effects, and also I tested it out in front of you. And with that, that's just about all the time we have for today. So first off, I want to say thank you to the viewers watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos that I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye! and see you all soon!